Hello and welcome to Tech Hacks. I present to you the second episode of Recap. This episode is fully loaded with tech news because a lot of stuff happened last week. Warning: I'm going to be shooting a lot of tech news in this episode, so you better duck behind a table or something. Firstly, your relationship status is about to change. That was an invitation sent by Motorola to their event, which is going to be held on 28th of July. We believe that they will launch two phones, Moto G third generation and Moto X third generation. If we are to believe the rumors, the Moto G third generation will have. If we are to believe the rumors, the Moto G third generation will have Snapdragon 410, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and will be running on. Android 5.1.1 out of the box. It will have dual SIM capability with a 4G support. Moto G third generation is IPX7 waterproof cell phone. The new Moto X will supposedly has a 5.64 inch QHD display running on Qualcomm Snapdragon 808 chipset with 3 gigabytes of RAM, USB Type C port, a 16 MP shooter with f2.0 lens, a 5 MP front camera. And 3280 mAh non-movable battery. It will run on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop out of the box, just like the new Moto G. Motorola will this time offer up the Moto G with various options. The Moto G 8 GB variant will come with 1 GB of RAM, whereas the Moto G 16 GB variant will come with 2 GB of RAM. The Moto G will be equipped with 13 MP main camera and 5 MP front camera. The company will also extend the Moto Maker to the Moto G. If you look at the image above. It seems that Motorola signed it XOX dot Moto, but on closer inspection, it may actually be XGX. In which case, it's clear that we should expect two Moto X models and a Moto G. Something called Moto X Sport might see the light of the day as well. Apple very quietly updated its iPod lineup. iPod Touch got a new hardware overhaul. They'll run on 64-bit A8 chip that is present in iPhone 6 and will get an improved camera. They are also getting new colors. Fortunately, the screen size is still 4 inches. They are starting from $199 for 16 GB, followed by $249, $299, and $399 for 32 GB, 64, and 128 GB respectively. Samsung launched its slimmest phone, Galaxy A8. It supports Snapdragon 615 and a Reno 405 GPU. It has a 5.7 inch display and a 5.9 mm thickness. By launching A8, they actually trolled the S6 users. S6 has 2,550 mAh battery, while the A8 users will have 3,050 mAh battery. Our beloved Firefox blocked all versions of Adobe Flash because of security concerns. According to recent leaked photos, Nexus 5 2015 edition scored a whopping 85,530 on Antutu benchmarks. Currently, S6 has the highest N22 benchmark score, which is 67,520. Most probably, Nexus 5 2015 edition will run on Snapdragon 820 chipset. Galaxy Note 5 is believed to have 4 gigabytes of RAM. OnePlus begins selling their very own custom versions of Google Cardboard, known as VR Cardboard, for 100 bucks on Amazon.in. They can be purchased today. VR Cardboard will be your grandstand to the OnePlus 2 launch event. They will be releasing an app app for the event just a few days before the launch. The app will be available only on Android platform. Just 4 months after launching Mi TV 2, Xiaomi has launched its successor, the Mi TV 2S, at an event held in China. At 9.9 mm, the 4K TV is as thin as MI4. The Mi TV 2S is a smart TV that runs on MIUI TV. A customized OS based on Android 5.0. The Mi TV 2S comes with its own independent sound system, which the company claims is better than the Bose. The 48-inch Mi TV 2S is available for 2,999 yuan. Mi also released a Mi water purifier. The device can connect directly to the tap, thus removing the requirement for any laborious setup. The purifier can dispense 400 gallons of water purified through a four-step RO process. The purifier can notify you about filter change and other such details on your phone. It is not cheap though, for it costs around rupees thirteen thousand with extra accessories available on Xiaomi's website. Xiaomi also launched a smart shoe in partnership with sports brand Li Ning, known as Li Ning Smart Shoes. It features military-grade motion sensors supplied by Xiaomi. The Li Ning Smart Shoes are claimed to be waterproof and sweatproof, and can withstand pressure while running. It is available in two variants. First one will cost. 
चाइनीज यू वन नाइनटी नाइन इज अराउंड टू थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड द सेकंड वन विल कॉस्ट थ्री नाइनटी नाइन यू इज अराउंड फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज इन फोकस रिलीज इट्स इन फोकस एम एट टेन इन इंडिया वॉट इज फनी इज दैट ऑल दो इट्स नीम सेज एट टेन इट हैज स्नैप ड्रैगन एट वन इन स्टेड ऑफ एट टेन इफ यू इग्नोर इट्स सोरिंग गोल्डन कलर देन इट्स अ प्रेटी गुड बाय After announcing the new line of high-end smartphones, Exxon ZTE on Tuesday launched its first smartphone under the new brand in the US called the ZTE Exxon. The handset is priced at four forty nine point nine eight dollars, unlock roughly around twenty eight thousand five hundred. It can be pre-ordered from the company's website. The ZTE Exxon runs on Android five point zero Lollipop. The ZTE Exxon runs on Android 5.1 Lollipop. It features a 5.5-inch QHD resolution display coated with Corning Gorilla Glass 3. The premium smartphone is powered by a 64-bit octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 processor clocked at 2 GHz, clipped with Adreno 430 GPU. It has 4 GB of RAM. It will definitely be a good competitor for OnePlus 2. It's time for me to wrap up. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. for more awesome videos